Space Jelly here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the McFarlane Toys Adam Smasher DC Multiverse Mega Figure. DC Multiverse Adam Smasher Mega Fig. This is from the Black Adam movie, which I thought was pretty good. That's beside the point. I was able to get this figure on super clearance. This figure is around like 40 or 50 dollars I think and I got it at Target for like 12 bucks so I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the price rating thing but I did get him for a good price this will factor into the review quite a bit he is a larger figure so I couldn't fit him into the entire frame but I hope you can bear with me he stands at I think exactly 10 inches, which will make him mm, mm, 25 and a half centimeters. So he is really tall. I don't know if he's tall enough at all, really. He looked giant in the movie. But, you know, it's just what they're doing. I wasn't able to get my hands on the, on the smaller one. And we'll talk about it, though. Oh, some certain things a smaller one came with that he didn't. This is him next to Thanos. I'll do a few comparisons next to some bigger guys because that makes more sense. I have the Toy Biz Maestro Hulk. The Marvel Legends Toy Biz Maestro Hulk. He is pretty tall. This Hulk is pretty squatty though. Okay, so I gotta get up to get this one. Actually, first, let's compare him to this old Toy Biz Marvel Legends Galactus. Galactus is quite a bit taller. And now, I gotta go get this one. Sorry about that. The Apocalypse. Toy Biz Marvel Legends Apocalypse. He is much taller. So he's not really a super giant figure. He is pretty big though. So we're going to talk about the aesthetics. Okay, you can't see him, you know. just turn that on and it looks good now. So, he does have this texturing all over him, so it's a pretty nice sculpt. This looks accurate enough to the movie. There's a few things where paint is missing here and there, but it's McFarlane Toys, what do you expect? He has paint on his eyes, on his... I don't know if you can tell, there actually is some separation. This is a dark blue, this is a slightly lighter blue on, around his eyes. And he has his eyes painted. So that's pretty good. I, lo I love how the Atom logo is done. It's very clean. Very opaque. No paint splotches anywhere. And you can tell that it's raised. It's actually textured. The belt is kind of bare bones. There's not really a anything there you can see there's some paint rub that's what happens there's a few paint imperfections you can see there a little bit fuzzy the arms are painted pretty well the reds are slightly different there's a bit more blue poking out of this these ones so I'm pretty sure these are painted blue and this is red with blue paint or painted red, I mean. I don't know. The pegs are not red, though, which is weird. I would expect them to be red with red pegs over there, but now there's just blue pegs on the outside. A little weird, but whatever. His legs. The knee pads are painted, I think. Sort of gunmetal gray. The feet. Boots look pretty good, and I think the red is painted on there. They're sculpting on the back of his knee joints. So yeah, he um he is actually pretty aesthetically pleasing. I like it. 
He's missing a bit of paint on his gloves though. And the gauntlets are blue. Or the straps on the gauntlets are a little blue. But I don't really remember those details. Maybe it should be different, I'm not too sure. So aesthetically speaking, he's actually pretty good for a mega fig. He looks enough like he does in the source material so he's gonna get like a an 8 out of 10 I think that's a pretty good rating so now articulation he has a double ball peg in his neck which makes him look up really high it's pretty good looks down really low it's also really good for a taller figure neck goes every which way you want it to go because it's a Nicely, perfectly engineered double ball peg. Let me see if I can rip his head off. It came out. Uh, that's weird. The peg is brown. That's odd. Let's pop it back on. If I can. Okay, now he has the same uh, shoulder blade joints that most of his figures have but they're weird and recessed i don't know if you can see there's not really much space there at all because this is soft like the upper body is soft so full rotation and you can kind of flex this everywhere to get more range out of it so it kind of works but it's an odd design. Shoulders go up above horizontal. Bicep swivel. Full rotation. Double jointed elbow. He's ugly. He doesn't have ball hinge wrists. He has single hinged wrists. So they only go in and out. Also, I forgot to mention, he doesn't come with any accessories. So that's pretty bad. That's a 0 out of 10. I forgot to mention that. But his smaller, the smaller figure did come with accessories. I'm pretty sure he came with fist hands. So that's pretty silly. He did come with his stand and his card though, which is useless. Okay, back to it. He has a diaphragm cut. It doesn't really go forward at all. Arcs back. Pretty nicely. Rotates. The bottom one does rotate, it's just a little stiff. Rotates around and just forward a little bit. Not a lot. Arcs back pretty well. So he has a decent range, but not the best. I think he'll be good enough for being a larger figure. His legs go forwards pretty far. The Diaper piece is not super restrictive. Legs go back. Barely any thigh swivel. His diaper is bunching up. Yeah, he does perfect splits. The legs are not loose, so that's good. Double jointed knees. His legs are pretty long. His lower legs. He does not have ball hinged ankles, too, which is weird he has pretty standard marvel legend style hinges so they hinge up they hinge down no rotation but a uh, ankle pivot which is super angled so it'll be hard to get this guy to stand in a super dynamic pose but a normal pose is pretty easy and a toe joint so the articulation isn't perfect he's a little bit restricted in the diaphragm and for some reason the wrists are normal hinges and the ankles too but overall it's pretty standard McFarlane toys you see multiverse so this will be like a 7 out of 10 I think that's good but the overall the no accessories is really silly I don't know why he couldn't have just given him bigger hands because the smaller one came with other hands but I guess if you want a bigger one this is a pretty good deal especially at the price I got it for 11 bucks is 
very, very good for this figure. So I would give this one a final rating of like 8 out of 10 because for $11 he was very much worth the price. For 40 bucks, uh, I don't know, that's a bit too steep. He's, he'd be like a 5, maybe a 4. But for $11, that's pretty good. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and, and subscribing. I wanted to mention the Patreon again. We're going to have... We're working on different tiers and different things in those tiers. So the first tier could be like a dollar and you'll get access to the Discord stuff. The second tier... I'm not too sure we're still working on that. On like a tiers later than that like a ten dollar tier we'll do like some raffles and some giveaways and stuff like that and then we'll see about tiers that are just meant for helping the channel and helping us just get more action figures so yeah anyways thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye